Let's talk about StealthWatch and your DNS. We're going to have two examples of things that we're going to look at. First and foremost, we're going to look at rogue DNS. Devices in your network acting as DNS servers that devices in your network are actually going to that are not on your approved DNS host group list. Let's go to StealthWatch and see this. So we're going to go look at host group management and look at the host group that is on the approved DNS servers list. I have two subnets in the approved corporate DNS servers, 10.1.103.0 and 10.2.203.0. Now, what I have done is I've actually created a saved search that does just that, just, just this for a 24 hour period. I call it DNS 24 hours and not DNS server host group. So let's go ahead and look at this. As you can see, what I have is, is that it can be any um, host, subject host, and as long as it is going to a peer with UDP 53 and that peer is not in our DNS host group translation, it is something that we should not be having DNS going to in our network. So we're going to go ahead and click search on this. And we can see the results just coming in. We have a number of rogue DNS in our environment. In fact, now that we are, well, let's see, almost, yep, they're 100% complete. I'm going to spin us down all the way to the bottom and see that we actually have 417 items in this list, nine pages. So the question becomes, how many rogue DNS servers do we have in our network? Well, we see 8.8.8.8, .8 which is Google, and we see 198.18.133.1. Are there any other? Let's actually do this. Let's say, okay, we mark down Google. So we're going to do not 8.8.8.8. .8 and we should get everything that is a rogue DNS device, but it's not Google's 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. What we're going to do is we're going to see um, whether or not if we toggle this, we should actually get this is 37.21, and that will actually change. So now we see that it's still 198.18.133, but we did toggle. So now we're going to toggle it again. So it looks like we have 198.18.133.1 and 8.8.8.8. Let's go ahead and edit the search. And not 198.18.133.1. And now let's go ahead and do the search again. And here's the beautiful thing. No results have returned in the past 24 hours. So we know with confidence that our two rogue DNS servers are Google's 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and also 198.18.133.1. These are just some of the ways that you can also do some dynamic discovery and hunting in your network. Now, let's go to the next one. You can also use StealthWatch prior to attempting to decommission DNS devices in your network that you think is no longer being used. So let's go look at that. So remember, over in the host group management before, we had two subnets that were in DNS. 10.1.103 and 10.2.203. Now, what we'd like to do is we'd actually like to go ahead and decommission the servers 10.2.203 because we don't think we're using them anymore. So let's go ahead and edit that and take this out and then do a save. So now we think that 10.1.103 is the only subnet for corporate servers in our environment. 
So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to make a new saved search. So let's go ahead and actually just make a flow so we can kind of sort of keep on going back to this and find out whether or not anyone's trying to get to 10.2.203, the devices that we're planning on trying to decommission. So let's come here and let's actually do it for like the past, I don't know, how about eight hours? And we're going to do 10.2.203.0 slash 24. And advanced peer options are going to be 53 slash UDP. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. And we're going to call it uh, DNS old servers. Now what we can do here is we can actually just do a run right from there and see whether or not anyone actually is still trying to go to 10.2.203. Okay. Okay, so maybe just a few still going to 10.2.203. So let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom and see how many. So we have 80 items. So what I would do now is, before you decommission those DNS servers, I would go ahead and try to address those subnets there. So these are just two examples of things that you can do with StealthWatch and your DNS. Catch those rogue DNS servers in your environment, and also maybe verify <laughs> that your DNS servers are ready to be decommissioned before you decommission them. Have a good one.